Chair recognizes Representative Davis for a motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I move to suspend all necessary rules to take up and consider House Resolution 266. Members, you've heard the motion. Is there objection? Chair is none. The motion is adopted. The rules are suspended. Chair lays out House Resolution 266. The clerk will read the resolution. H.R. 266 by Davis of Harris, commemorating the 75th anniversary of Congregation Emmanuel in Houston. Chair recognizes Representative Davis of Harris. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker. On, on the dais today, we have Rabbi uh, Oren Hayen, David Lambden, R Rodney Roth, Elise Kalman, and Cheryl Levy of Congregation Emmanuel in Houston, Texas. I know we're joined by many in the gallery as well. Uh, Congregation Emmanuel is celebrating its 75th anniversary this year, founded in 1944 by Rabbi Robert I. Kahn. Congregation Emmanuel originally served 190 families. Today, under Rabbi Oren Hayen's leadership, Congregation Emmanuel's membership includes over 1,800 families and is one of the largest reform synagogues in the country. Over the past 75 years, con con Congregation Emmanuel has continued to make a visible and consequential impact in Houston's spiritual, cultural, and intellectual life. Dedicated to performing acts of Tikkun Olam, or repairing the world, Congregation Emmanuel has sought to make waves on issues such as feeding Houston's hungry youth, and in the same vein, Congregation Emmanuel and its congregates played a major role in founding Search Homeless Services, Interfaith Ministries of Houston, and Emergency Aid Coalition. In the wake of Hurricane Harvey, Congregation Emmanuel partnered with several, several other Jewish organizations to host a Hurricane Harvey Day Camp. For 10 days, over 300 children took advantage of the camp, meals, and more importantly, distractions from the realities of the storm's impact. Congregation Emmanuel launched several strategic efforts to stay connected with its congregates before, during, and after Hurricane Harvey. These efforts included a virtual Shabbat experience, reassuring video updates, and subsequent efforts to launch the Hurricane Harvey Day Camp. These efforts also garnered national attention across the Jewish community and have, have been duplicated in other disasters, most notably in the 2018 California wildflowers. So Mr. Speaker and members, please join me in welcoming our guests to the Texas Capitol. Thank you. I move adoption. Question occurs on the adoption of House Resolution 266. Is there objection? Chair is none. The resolution is adopted.